Today's patient has been suffering from severe pain in the back and legs since eight years ago and already received percutaneous epidural neuroplasty on two occasions, four years and two years ago, respectively. Since then, the patient has been receiving oriental treatment to ease the remaining pain. Despite the continuous treatment, however, the patient's conditions have gotten worse and the pain is making it difficult for the patient to walk for any longer than five minutes. The latest MRI showed severe spinal stenosis and herniation of intervertebral disc between the fourth and fifth lumbar vertebra. The basic principle of spinal treatment is to relieve the pain quickly and effectively, rather than remove the disc. If possible, minimally invasive treatment without any incisions is the best treatment. SELD performed on this patient is one of such minimally invasive treatments for disc stenosis. If the treatment of spinal disease and stomach tumor can be compared, open surgery is to spinal disease as laparotomy is to a stomach tumor. Similarly, PELD may be compared with laparoscopy and SELD with gastroscopy. Advanced in medical technology can make it possible to remove large portions of stomach tumor through gastroscopy. SELD is similar to what gastroscopy has done in treating gastric cancer. Just as only cancer tissues are removed without compromising normal gastric functions, SELD is the most effective and minimally invasive treatment available for disc herniation and stenosis today. The surgeon begins the operation. Let's see the procedure. It is one of the frequently asked questions. Here is the answer as follows. Before real operation, you are requested to measure the height of the target herniated disc, which should be removed by laser on the sagittal view of MRI. The height is the length of the laser fiber that will protrude out of the catheter. Then, mark it with a Steri-Strip at the three points on the laser fiber, and the distance between the three points should be checked frequently during the operation. Endoscopic cable may be adjusted to the best view on a case-by-case -case basis. You can see the approach procedure from puncture to get the target point. This part is the important process which depends on successful operation. Look for the appropriate place to puncture in the area of hiatus. Injection of the local anesthetic in the area of hiatus. An epidural needle is inserted into the epidural space of the spine through hiatus above the coccyx. Place guide wire into the hiatus through the needle. Remove the needle leaving the guide wire in the hiatus and then dilator is introduced over the guide wire. Remove dilator and then put stylet and sheath onto guide wire. After stylet and sheath place in the hiatus, take out guide wire. Remove the stylet leaving sheath in the hiatus. Insert the catheter into the targeted treatment point over the sheath. Let's review again how to approach the target point. Puncture the epidural space with the bone puncture needle. Insert guide wire into the hiatus. Remove the needle leaving the guide wire. Insert dilator over the guide wire. Remove dilator, then put stylet and sheath onto guide wire. Take out guide wire and remove the stylet leaving sheath in the hiatus. Insert the catheter into the target point over the sheath. It isn't enough that this approach is the core of SELD. It is one of the frequently asked questions about SELD. Imaging our body in 3D brings you to the right way for the successful SELD. There are a few surgeons who insist on the ventral trajectory that makes it time-consuming for nothing. It is because the surgeons tend to imagine our body structure in 2D of AP and LAT, not a structure in 3D. When the approach of velar catheter is made mention of, to say the approach to target point is more reasonable than to say ventral or dorsal approach. 
it is important to get to the correct target point, not ventral or dorsal approach. The catheter trajectories are decided by all patients' different caudal canals and spinal canal structures and by three-dimensional structure of lumbosacral angle and thecal sac. The ending point and shape of the thecal sac make impacts on the trajectory. You can reach to target point and check it with C-arm. Now, it's time to insert endoscopic cable through the catheter to secure view. There are some cases that you can't see clear through the endoscopic cable at the beginning of the procedure. In case of this situation, how can you solve this problem? Endoscopic cable is a consumable. As it is being used, the resolution will be poorer and poorer. The skillfulness of SELD will make an impact on the shelf life. If it is of too low resolution to be used, it should be replaced. If it is not, you may clean the view by pushing the saline. If the view is interfered with epidural fat, you may repeat to insert and take out the endoscopic cable with pushing the saline to remove the epidural fat. You take out the endoscopic cable. Then, clear the cable tip with the wet gauze or check any substance of the connection part of the endoscopic cable. The purpose for the saline injection is to secure the way for the catheter advancement and to have the clear vision around the endoscopic cable. You may continue injecting 1 cc of saline by way of pumping and you will see a clearer view during the 1 cc pumping moment. Now let's start laser treatment by seeing through the endoscopic cable. It's the key point of this SELD procedure. Laser treatment is composed of stimulating or testing and shooting or firing. Explain stimulation first. The stimulation is required to make sure of firing the laser safely. Especially for the new doctor for SELD, safety is the most important point. After you reach to the targeting point, you need to double confirm the disc area by steering the catheter to the left and right. If the patient complains of severe pain after slightly pushing the laser fiber to the supposed target point before stimulation, there is the possibility the laser fiber has touched a nerve. In other words, to use lasers safer, the surgeon should find out where is the pain point by stimulating with laser fiber or endoscope cable. When stimulating, if the patient appeals the pain on the legit means, there is a nerve root. Never shoot that point. If the patient appeals the pain on the disc or doesn't feel the pain in spite of stimulating, it means there is not a root, so you can go shooting. Stimulating is technique for safety for patient and surgeon. You can understand where the right place to fire the laser by stimulating is. Now it's real laser treatment. After you are sure of the target point by stimulation, you may start lesioning by 5 watt and increase the laser power up to 8 watt for lesioning as long as the patient does not complain of either severe leg pain or muscle contraction during the laser firing. If the patient complains of the severe leg pain, you should doubt wrong placement of the laser fiber and be required to adjust the laser fiber. The patient may complain of an intolerable heat sensation, although the laser fiber is not touched to nerve while having been injured by thermal energy. Then, you should irrigate saline to cool down the temperature around the nerve. This is an additional tip for you. If the disc is located near the nerve, you had better fire the laser by 5 watts, not 8 watts. If the disc is much closer to the nerve, you are requested to focus on firing the laser by 2.5 watts to the target point and you will see a good result. You are requested to fire the laser as short as 2 to 3 seconds and to irrigate the saline intermittently for a clean view, preventing from thermal injury to nerve during the lesioning. Disc particles coming from firing the laser come up with the full of white view, which may be compared to a blizzard. 
the more blizzard, the more favorable prognosis. While you are in the laser treatment, you keep injecting saline to see clearly. However, the patients appeal severe pain and want to stop this procedure. What can you do? SELD needs more or less 200 cc saline, but it may exceed 500 cc's in doing multi-levels. You are requested to use the minimum saline to keep a proper level of view and cool down the heat from the laser ablation, which may damage the nerve. You should push 1 to 2 cc's saline intermittently with checking the unclean view because of the bleeding or disc particle and push 5 cc saline to lysis adhesion lysis for catheter advancement. If the patient during SELD complains of neck pain, most of the pain's cause is coming from the increased epidural pressure. Then you should stop the operation for a while and remove the cap of the drain tube. Then, place the heads up and leg down position. After the pain is gone, you may continue SELD. This procedure is almost finished, but you're wondering when to finish this procedure. SELD procedure time fully depends on an SELD surgeon's experience because SELD is in a concept of decompression, not total removal of HNP such as PELD and open discectomy. You should ask the patient before SELD if a patient has pain in the operative position and it will help you to judge when you should finish SELD if the patient has pain. You will see the view with the least disc but with the most nerve and dura as much as disc is being removed. For the patient who has not complained of pain in the operation room, advance the catheter to the part of the removed disc. Then it indicates the proper decompression if the patient does not complain of pain or light pain after pressuring the part more than the decompressed pressure. As an additional tip, the movement of either nerve root or dura is limited during the saline irrigation when the nerve receives high pressure while it is freely movable and pulsatile after enough decompression. You may judge it per the movement. <laughs>